Hello my fellow admins and welcome to another episode of Jira Guides. Void.admin user is speaking and in this video we'll learn how to disable Jira Secure Administrator sessions. So let's start. So what you can see here on my screen is uh, my Jira software hosted on my local. You can have Jira uh, installed on Windows uh, and if you don't know how to do it you have uh, one of my previous videos that shows you step by step how to install uh, Jira software on uh, on Windows. So you can also check that. But for this video, uh, we talk about this uh, temporary access of uh, administrative functions. So when we say Jira Secure Administrator Sessions, we refer to this yellow banner that is uh, on top your, uh, of your uh, Jira menu. So uh, basically uh, your admin session or login has a temporary access to the administrative functions so basically after a short period of time if the access is dropped i don't know maybe you'll go away from keyboard or something uh you need to add your password every time you access uh, i don't know maybe the user management uh, as an example or any other section from the admin section uh, of uh, jira so for example if we go in this jira administration section you have multiple options here but in order to access these options if this temporary access uh, to admin functions is dropped you need to uh, to add your password every time you access these functions so uh, for example now i have an active session and this will not happen if i click one of these options but if i drop the access and try to go in user management for example it requires my password so this is super annoying if you're trying to work on something, you go for a cup of water or I don't know, for a coffee. And when you come back, you want to change a workflow, you want to add a new screen. Uh, this Jira uh, user interface, it gives you the administrator access page and you need to add your credentials every time. So basically this is super annoying. And uh, why we are here, we want to disable this and we have a solution to this and um, let me add my password again oh password is incorrect okay <laughs> okay so i added my password again so if you go on the on the main page you can see here uh, this banner so actually atlasian has uh, a documentation regards of this uh, uh, of this banner and it shows you how to uh, disable the secure administration administration uh, session but it, it doesn't imply you where exactly you need to add this file in order to disable it so you can get really confused uh, if you go step by step uh, you create the the file that it's needed for this uh, temporary access to be disabled but you may place this in a uh, in a folder where it should not be and it will not function or maybe the file extension is not uh, dot properties that it should be and uh, in this video i will show you exactly how to do it so what we need to do first is to stop uh, our Jira session so on my on windows uh, i will go and uh, type the command stop Jira if you are on uh, on linux you do the same thing so i'm stopping now jira i will check to see if jira if jira sorry i uh, i misspell jira every time it's not jira it's jira so for whoever wants to know this is jira with g not jira okay so now it stopped so what we need to do now is to access uh, the bin folder in jira home so on a, on a Linux machine, you'll have Jira Home, but on Windows, uh, we have, uh, let me pull this here. We have this uh, uh, application data and Jira inside this uh, Atlassian. Uh, and basically we need to access the application data folder. So you should have this on Linux also, but if you don't, uh, try to find this db config xml so uh, where we need to put this new file uh, that disables uh, these temporary functions of admin sessions uh, it needs to be in the folder where db config.xml is present so where you can find this on your 
uh, on your Java home, e either if you are on Windows or either if you are working on a Linux machine, you need to find this dbconfig.xml in order to uh, create the Jira uh, config.properties uh, in this specific folder. You may have it, which is super great that you uh, just need to paste uh, uh, this line of code here. So you have in this documentation from Atlassian that you need to paste this Jira, uh, jira.websudo.is.disabled. So this needs to be equals to true in order to disable the, to disable this uh, temporary admin function. So what I'm going to do now is to create, so I don't have it as you can see, it is, I have only the dbconfig.xml and what I need to do here, uh, I need to create a text document. So this doc text document, you need to uh, rename it to dot properties and the name should be Jira Jira uh, minus config. So we hit enter. So uh, Windows will uh, give you a warning that uh, if you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable, but it, it's usable. It's a dot properties uh, file. So this is what we need here. So remember Jira minus config dot properties this is the file that you need in order to make this change. So we click here. Yes, uh, on Linux, you don't need, you, you will not have these pop-ups. You just uh, give a name and uh, an extension. It will create the file. So we have here Jira config dot properties. And what we need to do now is to change the, uh, the value of this Jira uh, minus config properties. So how we are going to do this is basically edit here with notepad on uh, on Linux you can do it basically open uh, the file and you need to change the um, the value of it so if you already have this file on your uh, Jira uh, you need to add a new line so let's say that you have here I don't know it's I'm typing something test equals true you already have something that is changing the Jira uh, config properties and you need to add a line uh, a space here and just type it on a new line this uh, uh, line that uh, Atlassian documentation gives you so basically we need to copy this go in our file I know where it where it opens where it's my file here so we need to paste it here uh, so this is a uh, where it goes if you already have this uh, Jira properties uh, in uh, your uh, Jira file. But if you don't have it and you are just basically uh, access this and create this for the first time, you need to add, just add this uh, line here, uh, the line that you have from Atlassian uh, documentation. And basically you need to save here. You, you can click save from the file or Control S from the keyboard and it's saved. Uh, you do the same thing from uh, for uh, for Linux. You're basically changing the file and uh, uh, you'll save it. So now we are closing this and we have here uh, this Jira minus config dot properties. Uh, I don't need this, so I will just delete it. You don't need the uh, another file here. You just need. Uh, to add this Jira minus config dot properties, which is the type properties file, and it needs to be in the file where dbconfig dot xml it is. So uh, you'll do the same thing in uh, on a Linux machine. Uh, you just add this uh, file uh, wherever you find the dbconfig dot xml. So now what we are going to do is to start uh, is to start. Uh, uh, our local host again. So we'll type start Jira in the command prompt. The Tomcat server will uh, will start and what we need to do now is uh, to see if uh, Atlassian Jira is starting up. So we need to wait here. So our instance is back, as you can see, 
and on the first glance you cannot see that that yellow banner that was super annoying on our top of uh, uh, Jira menu we can check now on the administration uh, of uh, Jira if Jira is requesting our password again so we can click on user management and hooray we don't have our password uh, required anymore because we remove it so this is how you remove basically the uh, this uh, temporary uh, ad admin functions from uh, Jira you just need that uh, Jira minus config dot properties file you need to place it in the file where the db config dot xml is present so usually you'll find it uh, in the application data of uh, Jira uh, rather if it's a Windows machine of a, or a Linux machine so you can do that and just disable this uh, this annoying banner that is causing stress to our Jira admins so this was my video if you find it uh, uh, helpful you can like it uh, and I don't know if you feel free you can also subscribe it helps a lot and uh, maybe why not uh, add a comment in the comment session help the algorithm and uh, help my channel grow as I will do in the in the future uh, many Jira guides and also I'll uh, tend and I'm working on this and I tend to uh, to create uh, also script runner guides and I'll go in depth for all of these uh, all of these guides in order for you to uh, to learn and uh, become better right so uh, don't forget that i will add in the description uh, my discord my uh, my discord server if you have any questions regarding any uh, jira administrate administration functions or any customizations and also I have a GitHub repository where I create uh, uh, Groovy scripts in order to customize Jira using uh, Script Runner plugin. And you will find uh, on that repository some, uh, some templates that you can also use. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I shall see you in the next video and uh, thank you so much for being here with me. Happy administration and peace!